so there's been this um, conversation going around on BookTube, and I'm not sure who actually created this, but I did see it on... Um, Steve. Okay, Steve might have created it. Um, I saw it on Criminale, and I saw it on, I think, a bookish realm. So um, I'll tag both of them. Thank you for sharing yours. And I thought I would jump in, and Sir Chong is here to give his opinions. I know I'm primarily, like going to be on the booktube stuff and he's going to be more on like the comics and maybe eventually like video games and other things um but he, you know he reads a lot of books too so he'll probably jump in so he's gonna have his insights i will say many things i will not do on booktube okay so the topic is things i will not do on or i'll never do on booktube and because never is a very like you know, that's a big contract. I don't want to say things that, you know, I may end up eventually don't doing. Don't hedge your bets. Only say the facts. Okay. So, number one, I will not judge what anyone reads. Um, I'm not here to, like, tell you that your book choices are bad or that, you know, you should read different books. That's not of interest to me. I feel like any book is good for any person. You know, if you like it and you relate to it and it makes you want to read... It's an amazing book. Um, so the number one thing I won't do is I'm not going to come on and be like, well, some people like this garbage, but I don't. Like, that's just not me. Um, I'm going to talk about books I like, and you can hate them. You can love them. I, You know, that's up to you. Um, if you like my taste, great. Um, maybe you'll like some of the things I recommend, and maybe you will, like, dislike some of them. And that's totally fine. We're all individual pe beings. Um, I will definitely be interested in, like, your recommendations and your thoughts, but I'll never come on and be like, oh, this book is, you know, terrible, or this, anybody who reads this is awful. Um, so that's my number one. My number one is I will never make out with anyone named Steve on BookTube. If your name is Steve and you want to make out, sorry, not on BookTube. Apparently anywhere else, just not on BookTube. Correct. Okay, so my number two is I will not give bad reviews. Um, this is 100% a me thing. Sir Chonk, if he gives reviews, I'm sure they will, they may be negative. I hate almost everything. Yes, so he, I mean, he's definitely, every time I look at, like, his Goodreads, I'm like, wow, do you give anything not two stars? I changed the name of the website, website to subpar reads. Yeah, or two star reads. Uh I don't even on Goodreads, like I love books that I don't rate. I don't rate because they're like a four or four point five. If I can't solidly give it a five, if there's anything I think of like, yeah, maybe that was kind of, eh, I will not rate it. Um, just because I, you know, partially because I'm a writer, and also again going back to that number one, I don't want to judge somebody, and I don't want someone to feel like, well, I love that book. Why did you think it was only a three? Um, to me, a three is good, but so. When it comes to, like, I'm not going to have any star ratings or anything when I talk about books, but when I do my monthly recap, I will give, you know, a pro, a, you know, maybe things I didn't like that didn't work for me, um, but I'm not going to be on here giving negative reviews. And so at some point, if someone was like, you know, like on NetGalley, for instance, when I get books, I may send the publisher or the author um, my honest review, but I'm not posting that publicly. I just don't feel like it's, if something doesn't work for me, it's not my place to come on and tell you why it's bad. Um, so I may, you know, again, I'll include it in my recap probably, um, but I won't be just on here. I know some people love like those snarky book reviews where someone just like rips something apart, but it's not for me and that's not what you're going to get from me. My number two, I will never mock a kitten's fluffy paws on booktube what do you think i am some kind of monster as you can see we are very different people <laughs> my number three is i will not lie about reading if i didn't finish something um if i haven't read it if you know it's something like like for instance right now i'm still reading a little life and i have i think three or four other books that i put on my may tbr so when i do my may recap I'm probably not going to be able to get to all of them because I still have like 70% of a little life to get through and um, three days for May. So probably I won't have time. Um, if I don't, I'll be honest. I'll be like, okay, these are moving to June because I didn't have time to read them. I'm not going to pretend I read something um, 
or that I'm reading faster than I am. I'm not going to skim something and say I read it. Uh, there are times, you know, when I might like it might not be for me and I'm very much a I don't do a DNF. So I may in th those cases, sometimes I'll like skim a bit just because I'm like, oh, I, I need to finish it, but I just don't care. Um, so I'll be honest, you know, <laughs> I won't be honest too much in that way just because I don't want to say like negative things about a book, but I'm not going to tell you I read something if I didn't read it, you know, that I don't know what the plot is. Um, and so I didn't read it. So I will not, and I won't pretend that I'm like, oh, I've read all of these, you know, big famous books. Like I haven't read War and Peace. If I read War and Peace, I'll let you know, um, but I'm not going to pretend I have read it if I haven't. We'll never pretend to be a vacuum cleaner salesman named Milton who hails from Denmark and occasionally reads poetry of the French persuasion on Booktube. Okay, so number four, I won't do it. I will never do anything that isn't fun for me. And by that, I mean, like, I get, we don't get views, you know, like, we're not here with, like, our million followers. We don't have a lot of friends in real life. So, I mean, this, you know, is just... Well, there's Steve. Well, there's Steve. But apparently, like, this is... This is... I'm doing it because I like talking about books. And at some point, I can only tell my cat and Sir Chonk and, like, you know, the few people I talk to, I can only say so many things about the books until they're like, okay, we know you like The Last House on Lead the Street. Please stop talking about it. So then I come on here and I tell you all about it. So... Um, but I'm not going to do this. Like if at some point this just becomes too much work or, you know, I'm getting stressed out or I'm getting sad, you may see me like take a break and that's just going to happen because I'm not going to do it if it isn't fun. I'm not doing this for money. The, you know, I have a full-time job. So this is just supposed to be a fun hobby and a fun way to maybe connect with other readers because I don't, like I said, I don't know a lot of people. So I love to see what other people are reading and learn about new books and talk about books. And so, um, but once that, if that, at some point that becomes not fun, I won't be doing it. I would never recommend pancakes over waffles on booktube because waffles are far superior and I am a man who appreciates the finer things in life. No, gonna to okay. <laughs> He's, so weird He's over laughing about how weird he is. I will not be someone I'm not. And that actually kind of does go along with how weird Sir Chunk is. Like, I'm not, I, I am very socially anxious. I'm very awkward. I talk a lot and I ramble. I'm weird. Um, I have severe depression and I will fall into periods where like, everything makes me cry and I don't want to be around people and I'm like super like moody. It's great. <laughs> yeah. And, but the thing is, I'm going to be honest about that. Like that's who I am. And I'm not going to come on here and be this fake person who's like, yay, I'm super positive. You know, I try to be positive about books just because I, I think it's great when people read and I love promoting reading and talking about reading. Um, you know, and right now, um, obviously I'm not on camera. I don't know if I'll ever get to a point where I'll be comfortable being on camera. So I'm not going to say I'll never show up on camera. But so I put that into that. I won't be someone I'm not. I'm not going to like pretend anything so I can get me more views. I'm just not doing any of that. So, um, you know, this is what you get. <laughs> and I think hopefully um, and, and then you get the weirdness with Sir Tonk. And so like hopefully that by itself, you know, maybe makes it fun for some people and um, at least you're going to get some authenticity. First off, you keep calling me weird. I say label jars, not people. Also, on Booktube, I will never enter into fisticuffs with any mascots of cereals, whether it be Toucan Sam, the frog from Sugar Smacks, well, well, maybe Snap. He might mean slap around. But aside from Snap, I will not fight any cereal mas mascots on Booktube. Okay. Um, so my next one is I will not promote anything. And by that, I mean, I will definitely be like, I mean, obviously, you know, you if you haven't figured out yet that I really love Ian Reid in The Last House on Needless Street, uh, I feel like you haven't really looked at some of my videos. <laughs> um, so if I love a book, I will tell you about it until my head explodes and until you are so sick of hearing it that like, you're like, I'm just going to read this book. So she will shut up about this book. Um, but I won't promote anything for money because like I'm not... I will read books, you know, if they're recommended to me. I'll read books for, you know, NetGalley. Um, 
but I'm not going to be like paid on booktube to be like please say my book is great no like I'm not doing that I'm not gonna like promote things that I'm just not here for that <laughs> you know I'm not gonna be like oh also while I read this book I eat this box of snacks that somebody sent me so that I could get money off of my channel like I'm mm, not I, I'm yeah. fine you know I know people do it it's fine um and there may be places for that but I'm not gonna do it on booktube um so if I ever do anything promotional it would be tied to something that makes sense um, but when it comes to books, like books for me have like this, I love to read and I'm going to talk about reading and I'm going to read regardless of if there's money involved. So I just don't want to like, I don't know, I guess damage it or make it, I don't want to dirty it by bringing it into like a promotional thing. So you're not going to, anything I say is authentic. I liked the book. I didn't read it to get paid to say I liked it. I will never eat a trampoline on booktube however i might jump on a trampoline while reading a marathon book session as a fundraiser to support beavers damn those beavers okay uh, my second to last one is i won't spend money that i wouldn't normally spend and by that i just mean i'm i'm kind of broke <laughs> so i'm gonna be back to my authenticity um I read most of my books from the library. I get some from NetGalley. I do buy books, but a lot of times I wait for them to get, like, be on sale for Amazon or, you know, I'll go to, like, whatnot or eBay and, or use bookstores and buy, like, a bunch of them. Um, but it's not like I don't spend money on books. But I'm not going to, like, get overwhelmed by all these people with these giant book hauls and feel like I need to, like, keep up, like, you know what, most, and the part of the problem I can't do a lot of, like, the normal booktube things is because I read most of my books on my Kindle from my library because free books. Free books are better than paid books. Sorry, that's just the way it is. So I'm not spending money. I will never recommend meth on booktube, but I might recommend grape aid because that stuff is delicious. And there was no promotion for grape aid. I don't even know. What, there wasn't? He didn't even say what uh, brand he why not? was recommending. Um, Where's the money? <laughs> I won't be closed-minded is my last one. And by that I mean, like, in going along with my authenticity, look, I'm, I'm pretty liberal. Um, so I'm not going to read, like, if you send me a recommendation and it's like, hey, here's this book that's super racist. I'm going to be like, wow, this book is super racist. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I won't be closed-minded. Like, I don't generally read fantasy, but I do like some fantasy. Um, I think I don't like romance, but if you think that there's a romance I will like, I will read it. I will try anything. Um, I'm very open, you know, to different types of books. Um, even if it's an author I've read before and haven't liked, if it's a book I haven't read, I will try it. I will try pretty much anything when it comes to books. Um, and like I said, I won't be closed minded, even if it's not my thing. Um, but, you know, be forewarned that I'm I'm pretty liberal and, you know, I'm super, super anti censorship. So if you're like, oh, here's this book about how, like, you know, we should ban all the books. I'm probably just going to be like, hmm, I guess I can read it, but I'm going to say it's terrible. <laughs> even though I don't give bad reviews. I'll give a bad review if your book is racist. All right, that's about that one. Uh, in the unlikely event, I do reviews on BookTube. I mean, I guess that's the point, but I probably won't do any. I just show up and make weird comments. Uh, I will never say I like something when I think it sucks, but be forewarned, I think nearly everything sucks. Wooden talk. All right, so that's us. So that's me. And then some nonsense from Sir Chonk. Um... And yeah, if we were ever doing a review and he wants to jump in and tell talk about why it's bad, um, mm. like, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I did not appreciate the order of the words. Okay. Um, I do think, you know, as we get into the summer, once he's out of school, I, I know I'm going to keep doing, like, my monthly recaps and my TBRs, and I think he'll probably try to start doing that, too. Um you know, and then we'll probably do them together or maybe we'll do them separately. Um, if he has a lot of bad reviews, I'll let him do it separately because I don't want it like getting into mine because I like to be positive about books. Everyone should read. I like reading. People should read. Just a lot of books are bad. See, this is what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's what I won't do on BookTube and some nonsense he won't do. And um, 
yeah, hopefully this was fun or remotely interesting. And um, I gotta get some reading done and Always stop making count your change. Yeah, and stop making some videos. So I gotta finish a little life. Um, it's very good, but it's it's long, and I have a lot of other books to read. So I really gotta get through it. So stop talking then. Bye.